Uh, but hey, welcome to the first episode of the. Episode. <laughs> I fuck you guys. Are we on? <laughs> yeah, we're on. Hey, uh, welcome to the first episode of the Patreon for For the Boys. Bop, bop, bop. I'm Hooch. I'm Carlos Carvajal. And this is the one and only. I know it's only the first episode for the. Uh, Christian Gomez, the producer, a.k.a. Peter Parker. Bop, bop. We're all good on the. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Oh. Cool. Man, Patreon app. Man, I feel different. I, I, it it feels a little, you know, like we loose. I feel like a bad bitch. Yeah, we you are a bad bitch. Thanks, man. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> you Appreciate are. That. <laughs> yeah. You, are. you, we're working on it. Yeah. You're, you're here. Hey, you're up to the couch now. I I am, yeah. You What's are. What's wrong with my hair? Nothing. Nothing. Nobody said anything who, about who your said hair. said something about your hair? Uh, I heard you said something about my hair. I said, no, you're here. Oh, you're here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's real sensitive about yeah, hair. Yeah, <laughs> let's dive into that. You good? I guess you I do. You do need a haircut, like really. You gotta fix it up. What's wrong with my hair? Uh, he looks like a twelve-year-old, my little boy. I don't think that's. It's because change. I had the hat on. If I oh, you're just gonna duck tail it. That. Do you usually leave the front natural, or do you? Yeah, I live it natural. natural. Yeah. 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 Don't do that. Because I don't. I don't like like lining up that yeah. stuff. What about the sideburns? You just... I just, cause I cut my own hair. Oh, okay. So I, that's I just. Why. That's why. Yeah, that, that's why, Monk. And that's why I'm sensitive about it, cause yeah. I know it's me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. You're to blame. I am the one who to blame. But honestly, I prefer to blame myself than somebody else. Yeah. Cause once I got here, I've gone through so many different type of barbers, you oh, know. Oh wow. And nobody has been done a good job. What about uh, should let Andre Castro cut your hair? He told me the other day. Yeah. I gave him a ride, and he was like, "So who cuts your hair?" Yeah, <laughs> that's how a barber starts a conversation. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, I cut my own hair because I don't like." Yeah, I've never met a good barber. Wow. I thought. <laughs> Are you been, have you gone to a barber shop or do you go to like the little Chinese places? So I always like to go where. To the kids' barber shop, you know. That's why, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> they don't know what to do with you. They're like, oh, this guy's an adult. <laughs> he doesn't want they, a lollipop. I see it because I like yeah. to sit on the chair yeah. with a car yeah. and stuff. Watch a yeah. tablet or a lollipop. Ex- exactly. I like them to play Coco Melon or something. Yeah. 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 That's why. Yeah, they're they're like, we're gonna mess this up. Like, this freak never comes back. <laughs> yeah, and then they charge me forty bucks. So, yeah, man. yeah, haircut prices have gone through the roof, dude. I know yeah. it's been a while for Hooch, but uh, <laughs> I cut my own hair too. Nobody ever mentions oh, it. Okay. <laughs> what, what was that one? <laughs> huh? No, look at the hat. <laughs> hey, it's growing back though. It is nice. A little hair it update is coming back. It is a little fuzz on that peach. No, f- yeah, I think this is the longest I might have had it. Okay. <laughs> That's long. <laughs> I might get Carlos cuts hair too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You cut your own hair, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cut my kids' hairs. Mm. My, oh. my daughter too. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh. You give her bangs and everything. I guess if I send it to you, would you be able to load it yeah. on the thing? Yeah, yeah, we can. Because it's it. not gonna make sense if I show you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and the crowd can't see, but uh, but yeah, no, I do the back of her hair. So there's certain hairstyles she does, like braids or something, mm-hmm. and then the back of her hair she'll have a bunch of hair just sticking out. Mm-hmm. So I cut it so down. So you cut it out. Yeah. Uh, so this was like the before. Or, uh, okay. Yeah, this is the before. Mm-hmm. It looks like she has a chipmunk. Oh, and oh. Then you do the, wow. So I come in and clean it up like Dang. that. Yeah. It'd be like that. Yeah. So you know, a little something, something. Yeah. Send know? it to me so I can put it on. All right. So you guys can see it. Patreon. Come on, man. I got you. That's how we do it. No, but it. send it to me like right now. Oh, right. Because okay. you will forget. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Don't do it right now. Take two. All right. Well, take we'll, we'll, we'll get it. All right. Uh, but I, 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 I like that hustle. Yeah. I do forget. Yeah. He does forget. He has. I've forgotten a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Does this happen to you guys? You think of something, a joke or something, premise or whatever, you're like, I'll write it down later. And then you, for, and you forget it. That's, you know, that's the biggest, like. I have a crazy story. Oh, please. Like. When I was into comedy, like one month into comedy, I was sleeping and I dreamed a premise and it was hilarious. I woke up laughing to it like, <laughs> oh, wow. and I thought about writing, writing it down. And I was like, I'll write it down in the morning when I get up. Mm. 
No. Could I re- forgot could what I it was. I remember it. Yeah, I have that. Like, anytime I'm like, it's weird too, because like premises or like ending of jokes will hit me as I'm sleeping. Yeah. And I have my phone and my notepad right there, and I'll just write real quick. Because, mm. yeah, it will, it comes and goes. Wow. It's yeah. just like fishing. You know, it might hit, but you ain't going to get that bad boy back on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the most frustrating thing, though. Yeah, I've forgotten some good ones. Yeah. 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 Um, for the Patreon, Sherry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grieve out my little, what my little beef with Sherry going on. What the comic? What's going on? Yeah, Sherry, the comic, the comic, not only that we've praised over and over again oh, yeah. about being the hardest, dedicating, you know, he's out there killing it. Yeah. Sherry's so funny. Yeah, we've asked Sherry to come. To the pod for about a month now. Yeah, month now. I know the first couple of times, two weeks, you know, schedules with us changed. Mm. It's okay. He didn't want to come today. Oh. He didn't want to come last week. Really? She's just canceling on us like we're not a good big podcast. Oh. It's kind of buttering my biscuits, boys. Oh, don't don't <laughs> cook those biscuits with too much yeah. butter. They'll burn. Yeah. 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 We're trying to give Sherry a nice what? little platform pod. What do you say? He had something going on. Yeah, so uh, he said his electric car couldn't make it this far. His electric car? Yeah. yeah. He has a Nissan Leaf. That's the first problem, Leaf. Sherry. All right. When you subscribe to this, how much are we going to ask for the Patreon? Fucking know. 50 bucks. They can pay 50 bucks. No, I'm Jeez. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, trying to pay for his lawyer. <laughs> I don't know what's going no, on. No, probably five bucks. Yeah, five. I was going to say five bucks five average, ten. I guess. We'll yeah. get it going. But yeah, no, and uh, this kind of gets me a little bit upset. Yeah, I wouldn't just say Sherry either, just whoever, you know. It's like no, no, Sherry, because he has to be on the pod. <laughs> if Joe Rogan reached out to these guys, you think they'd be coming up with an electric car issue? So you're exactly. getting in ground level right now. Yeah, this is like getting in on Amazon. Uh, there's other companies. Uh, Amazon, Facebook, God Tesla. Damn it. Yes, Tesla. That's the one I was thinking of. Ground level. Yeah. Before they blew up Apple. You know, so, but it's all right. You know, what's meant to be is, is meant to be. I'm right? just saying, we're not inviting Sherry on no more. Ooh, Ooh. live here. You heard it here. Sherry. You heard that, Sherry. You, you lost, you, if you strike one, full on you. You know what I mean? Three snaps in the head now. It's done. You're done for it, kid. You'll never work in this business again. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to put in the word. <laughs> Blackballed. <laughs> No more dynamic. No more. <laughs> yeah, no more dynamic. Oh, that's so. Uh, one of my good pals, Ty Rivera. Oh yeah, Austin. Austin. Um, to give you context, he's a big comedian in Austin, Texas. Who okay. was, and then he came out with the like mothership video. Oh, talking shit on you know mothership. What I did kind of hear something about that. Talking shit on the mothership. Some of the people there. And really, stuff like that. creek in the cave. Oh. Ty is now banned from every club in Austin. Oh wow. Yeah. So you got some, did he get some influence from you? What do you mean? <laughs> Not for the... Um, well, you were on a podcast with him, weren't you? I was. No, we, I was saying for the the Laughing Skull episode. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, that kind of helped us out. Yeah. We After that episode, we started getting on. Oh, my God. We got to talk to the mm. guy. If anything, my little, my little, rant, my little... Uh, Tantrum. My little tantrum tantrum <laughs> yeah, did, did us some solid. Well, it's because of the, we weren't bashing the plays. You know, we weren't talking shit. We weren't, like, degrading the plays. or It was just a, a don't know. <laughs> no, uh, no, me no. and Christian were. You know? yeah, we, were <laughs> we were actually giving good ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were trying to be productive. Yeah, I, I was too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm better than this guy. <laughs> I bashed people. I didn't bash the place. Right, <laughs> right okay. Well, <laughs> let's get away from that. Yeah. But no, ultimately it came down to, we didn't know. When I say we didn't know, like, how does it work? Yeah. You know, it opened up the, the dialogue is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. And, and we I'm, got answers. And we went up there, Hooch's audition twice, mm-hmm. once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, um, you know, but you don't know. And there's a lot of comics out here just like keeping their mouth shut or not wanting to sh- rattle and, oh, what if I ask and they ban me or I don't, you know, they look at me different. Dude, you don't know if you don't try, you know. So yeah. it's all about getting out there, and it, it has helped us, you know, for sure. Yeah. And it, everybody has their opinion, and there's, it's okay. 
So let's uh, talk some more crap on some other clubs real quick. <laughs> no, but really quick though. So how is that gonna? So how do how do you think from? And you can't speak for somebody, but you know Ty, we don't obviously. Yeah. Um, and Austin, obviously, the booming comedy scene. You have everybody moving out there now. You have so much opportunity. Ty, to me, was a more you know was, was an established comic there. I've seen him on Kill Tony mm-hmm. a few times, hosting or uh, judging or whatever on the panel. What did that? What do you think that came from? Like, was it just something with him? With can't be Joe Rogan. Do you think Joe even knows what's going on? Is it just like personal beef? You know, I think Joe has to know at least something. Okay. About it, because so context he him and the Booker, Ty when he first got to Austin he was getting a lot of good spots because mm. not everybody fully committed to Austin yet. Gotcha. Mm. So and then you know. Year in, everybody's, you know, Theo Vaughn's down there, Andrew Schultz, yeah. all these people, yeah, bigger Gil- names. Gillis are, is coming down. Gillis, yeah. you know, the whole, everybody from Pencil- Pennsylvania, from Gillis's crew came mm. down. You know, Kim Condon, all these comedians are, like, started migrating down there, getting mm-hmm. spots. So Ty started slowly, slowly getting less spots. Mm. And then he asked the booker, Adam Eget, like, hey, like, why am I not getting as many spots anymore? Like, what do I need to do? And it was kind of like a breakup situation mm. where the booker was like, from from just one side of the story from what Ty said. Gotcha. I'm only speaking of what I've heard from him. Yeah, of course. Um, thank God this is on Patreon because it was a little sidebar quick. Because me and my other friend Nick, we were part of the podcast out there. Yeah. I moved here and when Ty started doing talking shit on all the clubs. And Nick almost got banded from the mothership. For being associated. Being associated from Wow. It. Yeah. Mm. So thank God I moved out here the time I did. Right. Because you know me, I'm a ride or die with my boys. Yeah. You yeah. would have went down with the ship. I would have down with the ship and lost really good opportunities. Yep. So, and I mean, I'm still good friends with Ty. I haven't heard from him in three months. Oh, wow. That long? Is, yeah. Which, I remember even when you were here, you were When I first was here, we were talking like probably once a week. Yeah. You know, um, but basically back to the club booker uh, essentially told Ty, like, hey, you know, I'm kind of breaking up with you. Mm. We're not going to use you as much. You're you're, uh, not progressing as much. Wow. And Ty took that as like, oh, you're breaking up with me. You're not going to break up with me. I'm going to break up with you guys. Wow. And then came out with videos and then started talking shit on the creek in the cave. Creek in the cave, too. Which is I don't know. That's kind of crazy because he got us. He was working. He had a he had a day. Every Wednesday was his day at the. Yeah, he had like a, something friends or. A show. He had yeah. a time friends there, so it just at the end of it, it's really sad with everything. It's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh. Hopefully they get that figured out. Man. The only way I think Ty could fix his relationships, he'd, he he would have to come back out with a apology video. Public apology. Apology video and try to mend those relationships. Yeah. But knowing Ty, mm. I don't think he's uh he's kind of like set in his way, mm. and I don't think he'll go back on his word. Is he from there? He's not from there. No, he's from Vegas. Gotcha. So that, and also he talks a lot of shit on comedians, and named them like I did. Oh. Mm. But then he made fifteen minute videos about him. Oh. Wow. So he's essentially being me like, f. Uh, yeah, names. Like, names. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah, almost, let's just say names. Dude, I almost said Taylor <laughs> Neely. Yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then it'd be like me doing like a, uh, an episode, like 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, just des- designated towards that. Yeah, just so, shitting on them for 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And since like my growth, you know, being a young 23-year-old and now being 24. <laughs> right, of course. I understand it's like I don't, I don't support that. I don't support that because you know all those comedians he did trash. They're just trying to make it. Mm-hmm. They might not be as funny as him yet. Yeah. This and that. That's so. what I'm saying, man. This is a fickle industry, man, that we're in. <laughs> I can be sitting here going, "Hey, man, A is funnier than B and C," and then tomorrow, or next week, six months, a year, C is now A. You know, yeah. and A went to B. You don't know, right? Because life also has to alter into that opportunities. You know, so yeah. That's why it's a blessing whatever we get. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm seeing more and more big bookings. Just speaking for me personally, like this last week, I had three in a row, like all book shows. Tonight's the last of that. But then June, I have one show in the back of my mind. 
on the 15th that I got booked for with some heavy hitters, man. Wait. Nick Murphy's on that one. It's that one that Emily Holden's doing. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That, I mean, there's Nate, um, uh, I forget the female comic's name, but she's a big name out here. Kiki something. Anyways, it'll, it'll be in somewhere, the flyer. Uh, check my Instagram. You'll see it on there June 15th. We'll post the flyer on this for the um, Patreon. But that's my first book show where I feel like everybody on that flyer is real business. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's not like another comic on there that's been doing this a year. I think I'm the only one. Yeah. Everybody else on that lineup is five, ten plus years. Yeah. So that's a good feeling, though. And I'm sure, and I'm devil's advocate, somebody will see that and be like, why the hell is that guy on there? Mm-hmm. I've been doing it way longer than him, you know? So I can see both sides. Yeah. That's why I don't go into I'm funnier than this guy. It's just take advantage of opportunities, make the best of it, and just show you, show your product and what you can do. The rest will, will you know, because the ego is what makes us say yeah. stuff. It's only the ego. Ego, insecurity. Once you check the ego, it's like, all right, cool. I wasn't for that show. Or you see people put it on shows and they're like, Damn, they put everybody on around me but me. <laughs> like, like, damn, am I, uh, what happened? <laughs> you know, but I don't. I can't look at it like that. I just got to look at it like, it's not for me. Cool. I think part of it is uh, being focused on, because, you know, I, I think the main focus is oftentimes comedy, you know, uh, or the main focus. But then you also have to have other things that you're also putting energy into, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of fizzle out, that energy. Of feeling like, hey, why am I not getting booked? You know, if you're not getting booked, that's all right because you're doing other stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah staying busy. Staying busy. And I just watched a Joe Rogan podcast with uh, Derek Poston. Mm, I didn't see that one yet. Um, Derek Poston, big boy, Andrew Schultz. He's the host for Andrew Schultz yeah. on the road. You know, big, big killer in Austin. And it was funny. He talked about when he was working at the store, he kind of did what I was doing. He was just talking. Mm-hmm. Just talking a whole bunch of just chirping. Mm-hmm. And Joe looked at him and he's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Mm. He's like, your time will come. He's like, you're not undeniable yet. He's like, you're not undeniable yet. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, it's just insecurity, Derek Poston said. It's just insecurity and you're not realizing realizing the timing. Mm. Did you know more people in the world finish 100 mile races than people finish comedy careers? Damn. I mean, but what is finishing a comedy career, though? Finish comedy career, I would be, like, essentially getting a HBO uh, special. And but it's, but is that a finishing a comedy career, you know? It's getting a, yeah. like, being I, able I don't to, know. I being having, able to retire off of comedy. Being able, okay. Yeah. Having yeah. a defining but the, career. But the thing is, think about it, like, if you say like that, of course, it's going to be more obvious that people finish uh, how many careers or how many? A hundred miles. A hundred miles and then finishing a comedy career because a comedy career is a lifetime thing. Yeah. But a hundred miles. Well, most people quit mm-hmm. a year, two years in. Yeah. Now, they might come back to it later on in yeah. life. But that person running a hundred miles would have been done already. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that's where that makes sense. Like, and to also, be consistently a, a comic. You're treating a hundred mile race like that's an easy thing. <laughs> yeah, a hundred mile race is hard. I, I couldn't do a hundred mile races. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get a zoom in on that. <laughs> um, I got awkward. <laughs> um, that's Zen, bro. Uh, <laughs> give me the jacket back. <laughs> <laughs> See, nothing's free. Hi, <laughs> 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 He's like, yeah, I need my. Uh, <laughs> you do one nice thing for somebody, yeah, and then they wanna. That's yeah. it, bro. Yeah, you're looking nice in that shirt, buddy. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm trying to wear more colors now. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, that reminded me of something. Uh, what do people color people of color? That's like the new saying these days. Like I'm a person of color. What? I heard it like on Instagram these days. It's a lot of like, oh, I'm a. Man, get off Instagram, dude. I do got to get off Instagram. <sighs> like, there is so much poison on social media. I dude. know. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. They, they got me targeted, boy. Like, <laughs> you know what, how they know your patterns. What, what's your algorithm oh, look man, like? Man, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. There's like. Nothing, nothing good in there. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us your. We'll, we'll as go, soon as I turn it on, we'll yeah. do. We'll do three. What are the three things that? What pop do you up think up? is the first three videos that will oh, come on your timeline? Th- thick chicks. <laughs> 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 Any thick chicks. Thick chicks. Number one. What's number two? 
Thick chicks. Bro. Number two? Uh, <laughs> probably number two, too. Uh, it's thick chicks, food stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wanted to say food stuff, but I didn't want to be that guy. I'm glad that you said it yourself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> thick chicks, food stuff, and then comedy stuff. Comedy stuff? Yeah. What about you? Uh, it's probably... Uh, some random funny video, you know, of peop somebody falling over, you know, or something really yeah. dumb or silly. Uh, definitely car accidents. Uh, car, car accidents? Yeah. It's getting dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> car accidents and then uh, probably Suicides. photography stuff. Photography or videography stuff. You don't got thick chicks? Any chicks? I don't have thick chicks. No. What? what? The thing is, if I get thick chicks, I'm going to be jacking up every single time. That's yeah. the problem. That is a problem. Uh, mine is uh, thick chicks. Not thick. Just like working out like muscle mummies. Okay. I got like girls yeah. working out hitting mad. That's why you're jacking up way too much. Yeah. 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 We didn't need to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's Patreon doesn't mean you got to be out. Oh, okay. Yeah, my bad. I thought it was. jerk around. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah way too much? <laughs> uh, my bad. What are you, counting my jerk? <laughs> no. Uh, I ju you just mentioned it a lot. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> putting your business out God there. God damn. Yeah. didn't know this is how Patreon's going to be. I don't like Patreon. <laughs> Get all the inside scoop. <laughs> all right. It's going to be blipped out. How many times do you think I jail in, in one week? Uh, in one week. Listen, if I am doing it somewhere around five times a week, you're probably doing it like seven or... You think I'm hitting every day? Yeah. Once a day. That's once a day. You Monday think I'm Sunday. I think you're probably doing it like twice every two days. Whoa. Wow. Am but I wrong? You are 100% wrong. Oh, really? Okay. Three times. Three times a week? Three times a week. Oh, you have a good streak, man. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> You do Monday, Wednesday, and then the weekend. Yeah, no. I have a schedule. The other day, the the alarm played out. It was That's my time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's that time. No, uh, usually I'm good with the week because like I'm so busy. Mm -hmm. But it's like Friday night. Mm, mm. That's when it kicks in. Yeah, the Saturday yeah. night. It's the boredom. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you go home. But yeah, you have to stay busy. Yeah. You, you go know. home. You're by yourself. Yeah. Just you looking in the mirror. Yeah. Disgusted with yourself. Just you don't have a girlfriend. No, you the girl you did want has a, has a new family. Why she lives in Germany? And you're over here dreaming about her. All right, well, how accurate is that? It's kind of accurate. <laughs> you leave your hat on because no. you don't want to face her. No, no. <laughs> we're off this. We're off this. Uh, so I got I got thick like working out chicks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number two is comedy. Okay, yeah. Just tons of comedy clips And number three is like Bible verses And like motivation Oh things. thick chicks and Bible verses I get that motivational combines stuff very like well. that Dude, Bible I'll get, stuff I don't know about I'll get, Yeah I'll get like Bible verses It'll be like Timothy 2 first Yeah yeah no I do get them Yeah I get a lot of those um, And it'll be funny cause it'll be like My algorithm is starting to really get me mm -hmm. Mess me up We'll be like a thick chick being like Ooh, and then they like cut and be like, yeah. "Brother, yeah. you don't need it. <laughs> brother." <laughs> yeah, that's it. Jesus wants me to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> scroll. That's funny. A thick bitch twerking his yeah. son. Scroll, brother. She wants me to. Jesus wants me to. Tell. It's like they're really trying to save yeah. you. Yeah. Scroll. It's like lust is always yeah. the fall of man. <laughs> Two chicks twerking now. You scroll. Stop scrolling. You want to hear this? <laughs> this guy following me. <laughs> Or Carlos, I'm talking to you. <laughs> like, what? I'm outside your window. <laughs> Dude, it, it's they, they give me that, and they always be like, or it'll be like a thick chick, then it'll cut you be like, oh, you said you're going to be working hard this year. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Or you said you're going to be doing it this year, Hooch. Yeah. You said you're going to get over this year. They're, they're getting like, creative, bro. Hey, look, out, look, there's like the guy looking at, you know, talking. To, there he is. And it's like he's pointing at the person watching the video. It's the guy who said he's going to be out there hustling. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> this, this, yeah, I get, I get a similar thing because I follow this page that is called Get Off IG Daily, where they post a video that is brain rotting content. That cuts out to something motivating you to get yeah. off the IG, you know? Or if it's not the thick chicks that they'll do that with me, it'll be like a guy throwing a rock into water. Mm. And like before it hits the water, it cuts to being like yeah. social media is the you biggest You like rocks place. too? Yeah. <laughs> I like I like throwing <laughs> rocks. 
yeah. on that Down syndrome stuff. <laughs> yeah. And, and on autism. That has to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who started that? Right that there? has to stop. I don't know who started yeah, that. That's weird. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why people are always saying that. <laughs> right. I don't have it. <laughs> What's up with that skit they did? The Catholic something? That was pretty good. I didn't watch, oh yeah, yeah. I didn't watch the whole thing. Will Palmino, all you know, with Kenny oh. and uh, Kenny. and uh, D Hart. Uh, yeah, Donald. Will was in there too. Will, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Will Palmino. Yeah, it was a good one. It's yeah. funny. No surprising. Oh, they cut it pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't finish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, still, it was too long between. Was it? okay. I wasn't just Kenny. Me, uh, and we needed more cuts, you know. Yeah. Because I'm like a kid, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you got with those things you got to get. Yeah, them, like, three seconds. Yeah. Every three seconds. Span there has to be a cut. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But um, that's interesting. Our algorithms. Let's do a. Let's do a. Let's. We should be. We should see whoever can in a week. So the two weeks before I come back, when I do come back, screen time, to see whoever can spend the less amount of time on Instagram. Oh, I'm fucked, dude. We should. We should do a little boys competition. A little wager. Mm. You guys in? Oh, I mean, you can be on social media. Of course, we have to do for promoting shows yeah. and stuff. So, like, there'll be a little screen time. But uh, we'll at the end of two weeks, we'll see whoever has the least amount. The least screen time. Right. Least, least amount of screen time and least amount of time on uh, Google or Safari. Because we all know what. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I use Google a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do a lot of investigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Research, and research. Stuff. A lot of uh, you know, the dangers of getting stuck in a washing machine. I always watch that. <laughs> Get stuck. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll but we'll do a little challenge. I mean. Yeah, and then I lost already probably. But whoever I mean. does lose, we'll do film a little uh, video where we have to do something in public. Oh. All yeah. right. Yeah. For you, do you have to be like walking up to a cop or something? They're trying to get me deported or something. <laughs> That's dangerous. Man. Better not lose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yours is gonna be wa- having to walk up to a girl. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Hey, I had it came out, so okay. I had to throw you it in there. Right, you you should be like, we'll have to film a gym video. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good about that. June eleventh. <laughs> June eleventh. It's a roast battle. Yeah. Right, let's let's promote Dave's little roasting right here. Yeah. Big ro- you're gonna be there taking pictures. I'll be there taking pictures. I got five minutes. I'll probably of- I'll probably do the same thing that you did at the um Joe that's funny where you're just getting on stage quickly to say a, a little roast. Because you guys are gonna be roasting me either Dude, way. I got five minutes on you. Jeez. You got five minutes on me? I'm doing case. I'm only roasting three people. I'm doing case. Carlos, it's good, man. And, uh, <laughs> Case, Carlos, and Peter Parker. I'm not even roasting Dave. I'm not even. You have to say something about Dave. <laughs> yeah, <It's roast. laughs> I think you you're lo- you're going for the low hanging fruit. Yeah, he's trying to take the easy way out. Yeah, no, honestly, nobody knows a lot about Dave, so you gotta. Ask I know. Him. I did a lot of research on him. I talked oh, there to him. You go. I actually have a lot Me of ro- roast for Renata. Okay. I'm I'm going after Renata. Dude. Go for it. Yeah. 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 yeah, she's a big girl. She could. Yeah, she could take it. Yeah. It's I'm, just your skin tone, so. Yeah, I'm excited to see what Tom with P says about yo. That's funny. It's gonna be a roast, <laughs> dude. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a roast. It's gonna be good. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, man. Shout out first of all, shout out to everybody who comes. Uh, tickets are only fifteen dollars. Guarantee you're gonna get a hell of a show. It's unlike a comedy show, you're not hoping to see funny comics for 10 minutes you know it's 20 comics all roasting each other insulting each other making each other cry um so you guys will be able to see that live and then uh it's just gonna be a great night man i'm yeah. gonna make sure i'm gonna be it. the designated heckler that's, that's what i'm cool. gonna be yeah, yeah yeah um i think once i get done roast because it's you first you're hosting you'll be up there on stage all time yeah i'll be up there all night i think i'm gonna do my roast because i'm first and then I'm going to go sit down because I don't want to be on stage. Where <laughs> Trying to be out the eye. Yeah. Like, yeah, Dude, this is for who? Wait, where do you go? I know. Yeah. I know. I know I'm going to be a hot topic. I already feel it. Oh, man. <laughs> There's going to be some, yeah. some words. Some words are going to be spread. Yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. going to be exciting. Dude, you know what's going to be my p- favorite part? Because a lot of these comics aren't used to this, right? Mm-hmm. There hasn't been a lot of roasting going on. They've done a few little roasting. Some of these people are really going to be talking from their heart. 
So I can't <laughs> wait to hear yeah. what they really think about some of us, right? Yeah. So it's going to be, especially myself, I know it's coming. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, you, you might have made a lot of people upset <laughs> over here. <laughs> I, know. Yeah, I know I have. <laughs> you know how I know? This, because, book, this could probably be a good time to <laughs> make some amendments. Yeah, you know, you know what? Before the roast battle, <laughs> I want to say some things from my heart. Yeah. You know? I feel like Atlanta has the best com comics um any comic i've ever worked with whether it's an open mic a show you guys are the best man you know yeah. when that night comes for the rose i want to try to just think of one thing you know I, i'm a single dad with three kids guys <laughs> <laughs> do you do you really want to beat up on old <laughs> on old me you know uh, old poor Carlos? just a poor dad you know <laughs> with three kids man you know Just chasing a dream. You know? <laughs> that's all I am, guys. So if you want to do that, that's fine. I'm going to make sure the crowd knows, you know, you guys are being up on uh, – I was going to say something. <laughs> that's going to get dad. me. Yeah. Um, I have no jokes about your kids. All mine are just uh, – Yeah, you know. That's good. Your personality. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's good. Let, now, yeah, now, let me be real. Just like Kevin Hart did at the beginning of the Tom Brady rose, he let everybody know, hey, I have – I have, I have some guns here. I don't want to shoot you if I don't have to. <laughs> Here's a little test. And I'm going to throw out a few little PG-13s just to, you know, loosen up the crowd yeah. and make the comics understand. But if anybody uh, gonna be so good, crosses man. that line <laughs> and tries to go too far, yeah. they're getting, they're getting Carlos I'm guns. bringing shotguns. <laughs> and it might not even be written down. I'm coming off the spot right then and there, yeah. which is going to be worse because I really won't give a F, you know. <laughs> So it's going to be real personal <laughs> when I say it in front of you. Then so it's going to be so But it's going to be a good time, man. Buy your tickets, $15. Where I can you buy them? Right on the uh, website, alleystage.com or, or alleystage.org. We'll leave remember. it in a link and we'll we'll be posting about it the whole time. Shout out to Colt uh, to Colt Chambers. Chambers. Colt Chamber, Colton Chambers, Colt Chambers. Colt. Yeah, Colt. Yeah, not Colton, right? <laughs> Colt Chambers, C O L T. Uh, owner of the Alley Stage, super cool guy, man. Always a fun time, and he's a big supporter of comedy. Yeah, go support him. They have open mics on Wednesdays, and they also have regular uh, I'm comedy go shows. Close that door. Yeah, comedy yeah. shows on the weekends as well. The usually was sold out too. So yeah, Tommy does a uh, great work with the promotion. For yeah, the yeah, yeah, on on Wednesdays yep. for the showcase. Yeah. So um, excited, man. What else, man? What else we working on, man? We got the shows. You guys doing another one of the uh, Latino shows this the, uh, June, right? Yeah. It's, it's only once a month or it's twice? It's only once a one, month. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So when's the next one? That is going to be on June 2nd. Oh, gee, right around the corner. Yeah. I could have sworn you guys just did one. Yeah, it, it, the time is going really Jeez. fast. Yeah. And the crazy thing is I had I was scheduled for the open mic at the Laughing Skull that day, so now I'm going to have to reschedule it. Because I'll be hosting. Uh, oh, you're gonna host the this time. Okay, good, yeah. good, 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 good. Yeah, that's gonna be something right there, man. So I know I've done it. <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you have to bring that up? <laughs> I thought he forgot. Uh, yeah. So. No, I haven't forgot. Oh, no, okay, great, great, great. I won't forget. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just like we said at the previous episode, I'll forgive but never yeah, forget. Yeah. That's American. <laughs> that's only right. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, we talked about it on the last episode, but May 3rd, I'm just trying to think of all the spots that I can. And then, uh, the cutting loose festival. Yeah. But what else we got, man? We got plans for this podcast. We do. We got big plans. Um, I kind of want to talk about what I've been learning lately. Oh, go ahead. Feel sure. my what bounce off a couple, you yeah. know, expand your minds a little bit. Mm. And also a couple movies I've been watching because working in the film industry, I do love watching movies, um, and also uh, here here first. I'm writing a little little short little skit for for the boys episode for for the boys and you know our other co what co produce co channel uh, cutting loose yeah our affiliated yeah our 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 partners. our yeah. partners cutting yeah. loose. So we will be getting you guys will be getting a nice little show skits for us you know a little short movie. So yep. that's exciting. Nice. Been working hard writing on that bad boy. I um, actually have a movie script that I want to write, or at least a short film. Yeah. It's not uh, comedy. Oh. It's, it's drama. Nice. But 
I'm not gonna give details about it because I don't want anybody else to yeah, yeah. have a similar idea. Yeah. It's based on your life story. No, but based on no, I'm if I say that I'm probably gonna be giving too much, so I'll tell you off the camera. Okay. okay. Yeah, but hey, big things coming, and you guys will be getting it first on the Patreon. Yeah, man. So that's huge. Uh, but I watched the two movies that I've recently watched is Whiplash. Have you mm, guys seen that? That's a great movie. Bro, that's a great Whiplash, movie bro. with Miles Taylor and uh and uh, Jim J F Simmons. Yeah, J K Simmons. Yeah, Something J- like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's about a drummer in a jazz band who goes to a school in New York, and he's like drumming, and it's like the biggest n- New York like for orchestra and jazz. Bro, the mo- like as soon as the movie starts, it is the most like intention grabbing. Most intense movie there is about a jazz drummer. That's what I'm saying. It's, that's like the the channel, you know, to convey the message. But the message in reality is about getting crazy in your craft. Yeah, being going obsessed with your being craft. obsessed and dedicated. Like what it truly takes mm. to be the greatest. Gotcha. Yeah, and like so, J.K. Simmons, he's the uh, what is this called? Orchestra. Oh, the. Uh he knows. I do know. Con- conductor. <laughs> I think it's conductor. Yeah, he's the conductor yeah. of this, like, school, right? Yeah. And Miles Taylor, he's the drummer. And, like, one of the, like, first scenes, 10 minutes in the movie, he's like, all right, I need you to play four beats. And he's like, too fast, too slow. And then he gets right in his face. And he's like, are you, are you too fast or you're too slow? And he's like, he stutters, and he slaps the shit out of him. And it's a real slap because being that close to the camera, you can't fake it. So mm-hmm. it just slaps the shit out of him. He's like, were you fast or slow? And he's like, uh, uh. He's like, all right, I'm going to count to four. Let me know if it's too fast or too slow. He's like, one, two, three, four. Wham! Slaps him again. He's like, was that too fast or slow? And like, that's like first 10 minutes into the movie. Mm. And it just shows and like his character. He plays like the antagonist. J.K. Simmons does. He's the bald guy. Oh. Any, but he's an antagonist that you're kind of like, I like this dude. Mm-hmm. Like, I like how intense he is. Mm. And, like, the best line in that movie is uh, he gets fired for being, you know, abusive and crazy. Wow. J.K. Simmons does. Um, but he says, a lot of people don't understand my t- style of teaching. He goes, yeah. the, he names a drummer. I'll just equ- equivalent to comedy. He'd be like, Dave Chappelle. You know, he sacrificed. He knew what it took to be good. Gotcha. He's like, I never had a Dave Chappelle in my class, but I forced everybody to try to become Dave Chappelle. Mm. And he's like, that's the thing is like, I forced everybody to their, to, to their limits, and then I pushed them a hundred yards past their limits, because mm. that's what it takes to be great. And like, it's just such a good movie, a true dedication. And the guy Miles Taylor, he dating a girl in the beginning of the movie. And that breakup scene yeah. is intense. He sits down with the girl at a diner, and he's like, hey, I want to break up with you. He's like, because there's going to be resentment in the future because you're going to want me to be spending more time with you and going on dates. He's like, and when I am with you, I'm going to re- equate it to comedy. He's like, I'm just going to be thinking about comedy. Mm. And the more time I'm spending with you, the more time I'm going to wish I was doing comedy. And it's just going to grow tension, and later and later we'll end up just getting a divorce because it's not going to work out. So I'm going to say goodbye to you to you now. And the lady was like, we already barely spent enough time together. Mm-hmm. Like, I see you once a week. You're just saying that's too much time. And the guy goes, I want to be great. And I can't. And she's like, so you're saying I can't be, you can't be great because of me? Mm. And he's like, yes, exactly. And, and she leaves. He's in high school. No, he's in college. Oh, college. Okay. Dude, and it's, it's such a good movie. I recommend watch it. If you haven't, you should definitely watch it. Yeah. Because did you see yourself as that character, and you're like, oh, I am going crazy on my craft, but that's what it takes to just not not to be a good. Like it's okay if you're just like if you want to die like I was a comedian. Yeah, yeah, like a case hand. Yeah. Bare metal. <laughs> yeah. It's like do you want to die a case hand? Yeah. <laughs> Loser. Yeah. You know, only getting a spot on the alley stage because I couldn't like the whole thing. You wow. Know? <laughs> <laughs> hey Patreon baby This is where we drop it You know what I love about Patreon Is like only people on Patreon Will ever be able to see this right Yeah <laughs> Yeah it is, it is cool Right is that how it works Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. No, no, no that's exactly how it works start saying <laughs> Like it's never gonna come out anywhere <laughs> yeah. else 
Uh, but we will uh, do like, sh- but um, shorts do like teasers for it. Um, so yeah, that's a good movie. Recommend it. I watched it. Usually, you, yeah. you stamp your approval. What's a movie you would recommend for people to watch? I think one of my favorite movies. I don't know if your guy's gonna like it, but it's called Motorcycle Diaries. Uh, do you guys? I'm hooked. Oh, uh? I'm hooked. Do you guys know El Che Guevara? The actor and the musician. Che Guevara. Is it a gang? No, the, you guys don't know who El Che Guevara is. Mm. I think so. He's a musician. Huh? No, he was a uh, important figure of the Cuba socialist. Oh, you, the guy with the hat. The guy with the hat. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mike Tyson has a tattoo. Yeah, huh? exactly. Yeah. The one on the shirts all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's about his story, how he became what he became. You know, a little synopsis. So he came from a wealthy family in Argentina. You know, okay. he was going to college to be a doctor, you know, and then his best friend, he was about to be 30 years old. He wanted to do a motorcycle trip through South America, starting in Argentina, go through Chile uh, and then end in Venezuela. Uh, that was his 30th birthday plan. And as he hit 30 years old, he was supposed to be getting a Venezuela because the hot ladies and everything, right? Uh, but they, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do see those videos of like, it'll be uh, in fucking Instagram. I hate it. Uh, it'd be like, this is what it looks like in Columbia Cuba, Columbia. Columbia yeah. And it's like just a whole bunch of babes, and you're like, oh, I gotta go. So yeah, walking around. But they take the trip. You know, his father, Che Guevara's father, he was telling him, don't go on the trip, you know, just finish school and then you'll go on and, and you can go on the trip. And he was like, no, but it's his 30th birthday, so I got to go. So they go. Think this is long time ago, you know, probably 60s, something like that. Okay. And then it was a lot more ruthless back then, you know. And then they go through South America and then see they see a lot of, poverty and abuse uh, in those countries like Chile, Peru, all those countries, right? And that is slow, slowly starts changing. Um, that's an alert. Oh, uh-huh. that's it. Okay, okay. Oh, you didn't feel that? <laughs> Spy- no, it vibrates. I bet, yeah. I couldn't feel it, but it, I guess it's because I'm on a different couch. Dude, that's he looked at you like he was a teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he literally Put just. Put your phone away. He said it without saying, he said, I'll wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I bet it was an important call or message just or important alarm. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Back to your story. Anyways, I'll make it sure, you know, so I don't bore you. You got to cut the fat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So they go through South America, you know, it just changes his whole perspective from coming from a wealthy family to trying to change things through South America. Yeah. Uh, he decides to go to Cuba and he joins uh, Fidel Castro on the Cuba okay. Socialist and revo- Revolutionary. Yeah. Fun fact, he got killed. He, they said Fidel Castro sold him to the CIA because they both and they've been at a point where they had different views to what they wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, and then they kind of were thinking about splitting Cuba. But then uh, Fidel Castro was like, you know what, fuck this dude. And then he sold him to the CIA. And yeah. that's how they captured him and killed him. I like how you said fun fact. And then you're like, fun fact, he died. <laughs> 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 he died, he got killed. Yeah. That's an, it sounds super interesting. Though. What's it called again? Motorcy- Motorcycle Diaries. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So drama, I assume, in the drama realm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. say the drama realm. A lot of action in it with like that. There is interest, and there is no action like fighting, gunshots. There is nothing like that. Okay. I mean, there is a couple of scenes like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, recommend it. How many stars? One through ten. Oh shit! That's probably one of my top favorite movies. So I will give it a eight out of ten. Is it in English or Spanish? It is. You can find it in English. Okay. Yeah. That just might be good. For like all of our white yeah. boys up watching it. But if they hate socialism, they're probably going to hate the movie too. So it's promoting socialism. No, it's not promoting socialism, but the main character is a big socialism. But he dies. He he got killed, yeah. Yes, yeah, so if you want to watch, you know, American hero movie where socialist <laughs> dies, go watch it. What about you? What's one of your favorite movies? I have a few, man. I don't know. 
All my movies were about, or that I like, have a message. Right. You know. Um, I don't like the way you're already starting this. <laughs> they have a message, man. Yeah. You know. Um, and you know what's crazy about life, man? As you grow, your interests and your likes, everything changes. When I was a youngster, you know. I wish I had my phone with me, dude. <laughs> giving, my, giving you my Christian story <laughs> You know it's uh, like movies that people travel yeah. <laughs> On their birthdays and Their dad tells them not to travel You know yeah. <laughs> No I don't know man there's so many movies man Action comedy what are we talking about Just my One of my overall best Best favorite movies yeah. for sure is Big one of your top five It's de definitely uh, uh, A Bronx Tale mm, I have, I've seen so many clips on that one of the best movies, man. That Gotta has, watch it. That what has, is it about? I, I don't know which movie it is. So Bronx Tale, first of all, the story of it, even how the movie got made was crazy. The guy who plays Sonny, mm -hmm. who's the mob boss in this movie. Um, oh, man. I'm, why am I Is it the movie with Mark Anthony? No, no. No. Okay. Why am I forgetting his name? Uh, God dang it. I'm going to have to look it up. Um, but anyways, he's, he... Uh, wrote this movie he wrote the script he wrote the everything whatever and he was doing a play it was a one-man show he was doing all the characters and everything for a while mm -hmm. and then he got picked up in new york and was doing it like on broadway or whatever mm -hmm. and he was trying to shop this movie for years he would get give it to the studios or whatever and then they finally started saying yes he got offered, I think it was a hundred thousand. Then it like go went up to like five hundred thousand dollars, but he would say no every time because there was one condition: he wanted to be in the movie. Mm -hmm. He wanted to, to play that role. Yeah. And they all told him no. They all told him no. And he's getting you know older at this time. He's like in his thirties, forties, whatever it was. And uh, they said no. Well, nobody knows who you are. Like we're gonna get real actors for this yeah. thing. And it wasn't until one night at the play, Robert De Niro happened to go see the show. Mm -hmm. After the show, he goes backstage. He tells him, hey, man, hell of a job, man. This, I mean, this is a good story, everything. You should make a movie from this. He's like telling him the story <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. So Robert De Niro basically is just like, don't worry about it. Let's work on this together. So now with Robert De Niro backing him up to the studios, yeah. hey, I'll be in the movie. Da, da, da. But this is Robert De Niro's. Uh, first directorial, directors, directorial, directorial debut. Hey, yeah, so, you know about movies, dog. Um, and in English words. <laughs> um, Just one more. I so, usually don't get it right. So. It, yeah. <laughs> so, so De Niro was like, "Hey, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. I want to be the director." So this is like, he's demanding to be the director. This guy wants to be the actor. This is like the first of his first. I'll give you one more first. The kid who plays C, um, who's the main character in the movie or whatever, they were scouting the area, like, open call for actors. Mm -hmm. He was at a school or something nearby. or No, he was at the beach. And some of the casting directors, Robert Salm or whatever, were like, hey, you're right. With Came an audition. He, they had another kid in mind. And then last minute, this kid won them over. Yeah. Oh, shit. So it was a bunch of, like, first, first time first, for everything. First, yeah. Movie's a fucking classic, man. It's based in um, in the Bronx, obviously, uh, like Arthur Avenue, you know, Little Italy. And this was a time, you know, like 50s, 60s, when the racial tension was really high between the Italians and blacks. And uh, so the story's just this kid growing up in this neighborhood, and his dad is a bus driver for the city, so teaching him the right way. Mm -hmm. But then he sees, you know, the neighborhood and Sonny and his crew and all, and they really run everything, but they're doing it the wrong way. So he's caught in the crossfires yeah. and, of course, gets attracted to that life. So he just shows him as a, like, 10, 11-year-old boy till 17, 18, you know, mm -hmm. kind of grew up in that life. Kind of like um, the character in Goodfellas, mm -hmm. you know, um, Jeez, I'm forgetting everybody's. Jamie, pull it up. Yeah, we need a Jamie. <laughs> uh, but uh, Peter, pull it up. Mm -hmm. Something Hill is the character in uh, Goodfellas. But uh, but anyways, the reason I love that movie. Henry is Hill. Henry Hill, yeah. Um, who ended up being an informant, but it's following Goodfellas is following that his story. 
Uh, the reason I love this movie, Bronx Tale, is because the whole moral of the story is nothing worse, nothing worse in the world than wasted talent. Mm-hmm. And that's what that's where that came from. Yeah. Dang. Uh, so in the neighborhood, you have all these people that had all this potential and everything, but they make the wrong, wrong decisions. They end up dead or in prison yeah. or whatever. Um, and now you'll never be to your full potential. You know, even though you have all the talent in the world. Yeah. You don't see it for yourself. You start messing up. You never accomplish it. So that's, I think, what hit me on early on. Mm-hmm. I realized that while all my friends and everybody around me was doing crazy shit, and then all you hear is, dude, so-and-so got shot. So-and-so's dead. So-and-so's going to prison for life because they killed so-and-so yeah. you know, over a drug deal. So it was just kind of like staying the course and then just learning, dude, that's not for me anymore. I have kids. And then you just grow. Dang. And I think that's what I love about movies is like, it's, you know, it, it's storytelling, essentially, bottom line. And it's storytelling. Yeah. And it's like so impactful. Like watching like, you know, your movie. And like, I'm sure it's in- influenced your life somehow. And how your movie, how it, you just said it truly did influence your decisions. Yeah. And like, you know, watch just like, and I wish Hollywood and every they start making more movies to influence lives and not just remaking everything. The reboots, man. The reboots, the remakes. It's like, no, like, give us a new story. Maybe right now that, uh, you know, there is so much movies at home, you know, like with the whole subscription plans, they they will be able to head that way because back then it was like, okay, let's make so much money on the day of, you know, on the premiere. Yeah, the blockbuster hits. And now people don't go to the movie theater that much anymore, you know. Yeah, movie theaters making their comeback now, though. They, they Before are. COVID, it was a little dead. Yeah. And then COVID, it was really dead. Yeah. yeah. But no. now every time I go, it's like, all right. That's why, I like, this is gonna be sound sound kind of like a pussy, but I like A twenty four a lot, you know. Dude, A twenty four is amazing. Yeah, I know. What Some people it? be like, oh, of course you like A twenty four, you know. Yeah, it's like the new thing to like exactly. these. Exactly. But what, what is this? It's, it's like a production a mov- company. Yeah, production company. And they do like very low budget movies, you know, or kind of low budget to nowadays, right? With yeah. interesting stories, new stories, no big effects, no blockbuster, nothing like that. Just stories, meaningful stories, you like know. Uncut Gems with Adam Sandler. That's yeah. a twenty four movie. Really. Everything, everywhere, all at once. It's a twenty four. They have a, a lot of the Dwayne Johnson's doing an a twenty four movie right now. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, they're sticking to more original. But yeah, everything these days it seems like it's like a biography of like the you know Queen guy, a biography of Elvis. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's like maybe it's just up to us, boys. Maybe we have to write some more original. Yeah, dude. Why not, man? My brother wrote twelve movie scripts. Like, there's no reason why we can't. It's all about a, a relatable story at the end of the day, and then do the characters pop? I think we should. Com- comedians notoriously are good dramatic actors yeah Jim Carrey you have a lot of these guys out there man yeah because we really Robin Williams we have that shit inside of us yeah Ooh. we're just putting a front on when we go on stage yeah. to be this funny guy well that's yeah. our gift is like we can make the traumatic things right that we all funny. go through and make it funny and relatable yep and you have to be securing yourself because most people will be like somebody died or this or that like oh it's so horrible you know and we're like well, <laughs> here comes here comes the joke, right? Yeah. So it's like you you bypass that like we like we have a filter or something that helps us bypass yeah. that feeling or emotion that dwells in the pain, yeah. and it somehow shoots it over here to like bright side or you know yeah. here's something light of that situation, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you go from there, you know. That is funny that you say that. One of my boys, uh, Nick. Uh, v, he's an awesome comic boy. He like just recently, he's been liking this girl for a, lo- a bit. Took a shot, she denied him. You know, he called me last night and he's like, "Dude, I'm just like depressed. You know, I'm like I'm down. Like I really liked her. She's showing interest. I'm not gonna get too much into his laundry." No, uh, go ahead. Nah, <laughs> nah, I, nah, nah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But he he said that, and you know, I'm a good friend. Like I think bottom line, like if you treat me right, I'll treat you right. So I send him like twenty bucks. I'm like, hey man, go get a burger. <laughs> what? You know, like go go like treat yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, he's get out the funk. Yeah, go like go go have a nice and 
night, night, good night, you know? And he's like, he's like, I appreciate it. He's like, man, he's like, not to be dramatic. He's like, I just want to, he has, he has a lot more going on in his life than just a girl problem. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I just like, he's like, I'm almost going to just, you know, be like gone. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he said that to me, I was like, then I can get that 20 bucks back. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I was like, before, <laughs> like I'm hurting right now yeah, with money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I need you to buy something. Just don't, I'd hate yeah. to be at your funeral and have to ask your grandma yeah. for it. Yeah. Anybody know his phone code? Yeah. Just need to cash up something back yeah. to me. I gotta get it real back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, that's like any other like real person, would be like, Oh man, are you okay? My first yeah. thought was like, you know, you think I'll get my yeah. money back? <laughs> but you're not going to be using and it. And might as well get a $100,000 loan from the bank and just give it yeah. to me, right? That's true. And it is funny because we, we have an ongoing joke because, like, when we were both in Austin, you know, he was dirt poor. I would had a little bit more money, you know, so I'd buy him a lot of food mm -hmm. and stuff like, you know, and vice versa. Um, but I would always be like, oh man, I'll pay you back. And I always be like, oh no, don't worry about it. It'll just be a dick suck in the future. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So he has, I, he owes me like 50 dick sucks at well, this point. You got to be careful with him. <laughs> you know? I mean, he owes me one with the jacket. Yeah, yeah. I do owe you one. I do owe you one. But he owes me I'm 50. Not, I'm not giving y'all. I'm not taking shit from you. <laughs> Matter of fact, I don't want nothing. I did pay for it. Yeah, yeah, no, I got you. Bro. <laughs> you are already. I'm going to you money. <laughs> if I don't see that. Yeah, Venmo. <laughs> hey, that Venmo's not in two days. That turns into a dick suck. He's um, like, no, I got dick mo. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a bit. It's like 50 dick sucks. I'm like, dog, if you do die, you know, that does carry on to your family oh, <laughs> i'd hate have to be like hey grandma nick uh, <laughs> yeah. you owe me, some, uh, yeah. you you owe me something contract. and it was not money <laughs> <laughs> keep the teeth out you know what i mean <laughs> but that's just how our brains are wired um yeah. also another thing i've been reading been reading this book about robin williams thought that's funny that you brought it up mm -hmm. it's a biography about him the book is so detailed like it was from a family friend so like you, it's everything and it's interesting that I'm reading it. I just got done reading the part where he got out of Juilliard, mm. the college. And Robin's dad was a really wealthy man. He worked for Ford Company, for Ford in Detroit. Mm. He moved to San Francisco. Like, Robin had a lot of money, mm -hmm. but his dad didn't support that he was doing theater. So he wouldn't pay for any of Robin's colleges. Mm. Yeah. Didn't pay for anything. Thank goodness Robin had a full ride to Juilliard, mm -hmm. but he didn't have enough money for rent. He didn't have enough money for food. Yeah. So oftentimes Robin would sleep at the college at like on a couch or and he talks about in the book how the cleaning ladies paid a lot for Robin's like dinner and little breakfast so he could eat. Wow. And I just got done reading like the part of the book where he had a, his first like depressive episode. And it was like so interesting. He talked about where Robin was like he cried for like weeks and then like once the tears were done, like he was like he would dry heave from like crying. You know, like when you're like a kid yeah, yeah. and you're like you're not crying, but you're still like <laughs> right, you can't catch, yeah. like you can't catch your breath. Yeah, but it's like interesting. Like I read like his first like depressive thing, wow. and he talks about like how he snapped out of it and everything. And it's mm -hmm. like oh, but that was your first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, man. You gotta keep dealing with it for the rest of your life. Anxiety, depression, all that shit. Yeah. Intrusive thoughts. But uh, it's it's a good book. I recommend it. I'll drop a picture of it yeah. in it so you guys can see it. That's awesome, man. But yeah, be reading that. Um, another thing I want to talk to you about uh, Perry don't. Hey Perry. Play. <laughs> Perry don't play. What time is it? Oh, four twenty-six. Okay. All right. Well, well, to leave too, uh. we'll end the episode here. Yeah. We'll end the so episode here. Hey guys, thank you guys for watching the first Patreon episode. Yeah. I appreciate it for the boys. What is it? Like, subscribe, share, yeah, comment, well, facts. For the Patreon, it's uh -oh. whoever bought whoever bought it get to, gets to watch it. They get first dibs too, yep. don't they? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. For five dollars. For yeah. five dollars, man. <sighs> Can't even buy. For it. that, I will pay fifteen if. Yeah. Twenty, but five dollars—that's great. You can't buy stuff for five dollars anymore. Exactly, and you mm -hmm. can buy these episodes with Man. great content. Well, it's a subscription. And great personalities. Yeah, subscription five bucks a month. A month. Yeah, so we might need to raise up to 20 bucks. That's cheap, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's like, what, 10 cents a day? Exactly. Yeah, 10 cents a what day. Do you want to do pay us 10 cents a day to be here or pay 
those freaking Ethiopian kids that are starving 10 cents a day. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Keep your money here. Yeah, what will you want to donate to, I don't know, yeah. Children's Hospital? <laughs> what? St. Jude? Come on, where's that money really going? Exactly. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Every time I go to McDonald's, they got a new menu item. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where it's going. You get to support a single dad. <laughs> you get to support an immigrant and me. I'm really hurting. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's five bucks a month. That you get first access on episodes, skits, and Heck everything. Yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Y'all keep it real. Carlos Carbajal's. Hooch. Christian, a.k.a. Peter Parker. A.k.a. the El Salvador Strangler. A.k.a. Um, the Brown Ru- Cruz. You got two minutes left, dog. A.k.a. What else is that? The AKA? Brown Clown. The, the Brown, Brown Clown. Clown. A.k.a. Yeah. the Video Strilio. Um, and the, that's it. The, Thank you guys for nurse, watching. The nurse with the purse. Nurse Bye, guys. Purse. Oh, you want to subscribe? <laughs> you want to oh, take that? Want to take that, Peter? Yeah. Uh, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, hey, t- <laughs> you guys are seeing it here live. Yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, <laughs> well, you got four months. So you got four months. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's only store credit. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. Hey, you yeah. just saw that, that's how quick and how much Man. first one. First this one. guy's this guy just broke into the house and just demanded <laughs> to pay us for this content. That, and, that's how good the content wow, is. You know, people wild. is breaking into the house. That's wild. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, man. We're gonna go call the cops. You guys have a great night. Bye bye. Woo.